Hello student, today I am explaining about a very important topic, morphology in flowering plant. As the name indicates itself, morphology means we are mainly discussing about the outer structure and about the angiospermic plant. So, flowers are the part of the plant and they participate in the process of sexual reproduction because the reproductive cells and the reproductive organs are mainly formed inside the flower appendages. The flower are only the structure in case of plant that participate in the process of fertilization. So we will use mainly two terminology that is self pollination and cross pollination. In self pollination the male reproductive cell or the pollen gains move from anther to stigma on the same flower and when the reproductive cell or pollen gains move from anther to stigma on the different flower of the different species in that case we have used the word cross pollination now there is a point to remember that pollinations take place with four flower appendages attached on the receptacles now we will discuss the different part of the flowers in brief first of all we will discuss about the lowermost part of the flower called calyx which is an individual appendages of calyx and it is called sepals the sepals are the essential green in color so they mainly participate in the process of photosynthesis they are protective in function and may fall immediately after flower opens the remains persistent and protects the developing fruits another structure is corolla which is located inside the calyx individual appendages of corolla is called petals which is bright in color and its fragment makes insect attractive it attract pollinators and help in pollination petals contain a gland which is named as nectar gland and it is a viscous material that contain sucrose which is sweet in taste that's why the insects are attracted to the petals next appendages in androsium which is called stamen and it is male reproductive organ in flower inside the reproductive organ the reproductive cell are called the pollen grains the stamen consists of anther and filament anther is the uppermost structure inside the pollen grain formed and another one is filament that provide the support to the upper structure that is anther next and last part is gynosium it is the female reproductive organ in which the female reproductive cells are formed the gynosium consists of three main parts first is stigma second is style and third one is ovary when these three structures are fused it is called carpal or pistil the uppermost part is stigma at which the pollen grains are landed style is the structure by which the pollen tube is entered and reaches to the structure of ovule it help in the production of megaspore fruits and seeds thank you